this series as well, Comet, the uh, Gragas in that mid lane would make a lot of sense with the damage profile that also is existing on Mad Lions. And you know, you just get free push from Jace as well going into this. So if you want pushing lanes, like this is how he can at least bridge it. Wow. I think you hear Lissang was trying to predict the flash from Exekick, but ended up finding the fish instead. And now Markoon wants to get involved. Oh, Markoon will be able to find Al Yoya first. Crushing blow down. Three members of SK forcing out Al Yoya. He's flashed into the tribe for his first blood to Exekick. Gorgeous flash from Markoon. Gets in front of the Vault Breaker from what they were playing against. But because Chasey dodges away from that, all he loses is the flash. And Markoon's time spent topside gives a very easy Drake over to Matt. He's like 10% away from level 6. Look at bottom left screen. Look at that XP. Bar. It's ticking up. Needs one more minion, maybe two more minions. He needs this gonna melee. Ding, gonna ding. He'll be able to get just Level up. Finally does. Season the assist unlocked. Will slam down Doss. One kill secured already. A second to shot. Get it to Karzi. And Doss is taken out by Karzi. Money, 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 baby. Karzi is racking it up in the bot. And him as a support throughout the course of the year. Jungle proximity, mid lane proximity. That's the amount of time they spend around those respective roles. Hilly's been roaming a whole lot. The first time we've seen on that melee support. <laughs> they engage. Kazi's able to pick up that kill with the help of Healy. He's now knocked up into the air by the Cyclone. Flashes away to safety. Stays alive before Markun can get anywhere near. And it's three more kills to the Mad Lions. Oh, no, 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 no. Hill is second. Kazi just 2v3'd right there. Absolutely explode the first target. Buying time. And El Yoya comes in to clean it all up. He might be looking for mid lane too. Check out how low Certus is. No Flash on the Azir, and everyone is coming to party in the mid lane. Three members of Mad Lions at least threatening Certus. Irrelevant will get caught by that belly bop. Throws out the Forge God, knocks up to Certus. Certus. Looks for the slide, the glide, and it's Exekick with the culling. That gets another for SK. He continues to chase forward. It's a double for Exekick, and they punish Mad Lions' attempts. Where the hell did SK come from? They managed to catch Mad Lions. from Karzi to set this up as well. Easy follow up then from Haley with the Ultimus. Ayoye in position as well. And Hilly does a great job of kind of guiding that play through with Certus now stuck. There's Flash already used, pulled backwards by the ulti. And Niski, with the help of Chase, he picks up yet another kill. Oh, yeah. Side That's... of the lanes, but with all of the shenanigans, look, Exekick is up in the top. There's uh, uh, pressure on the bottom lane, as all of a sudden, SK will be able to pick up their first dragon. You always have to watch when a team takes mass resets, right? Mad Lions, these three players all just recalled at the same time. They're going to move onto the map and make a play together, but SK are waiting. While well, waiting for that fight, Dredge Line what? is connected. Hilly flashes forward, gets a multi-man knockup. The barrel splits up SK, and they are routed and running for their lives. Irrelevant arrives just a moment too late and SK lose two members. Oh my god. Notice that one. They do have control wards aplenty down on this bot side of the jungle. So I think SK are going to try to cross map. They're trying to farm all these camps. Mad Lions aren't going to let them. No, they're not. Mad Lions continue the hunt. Continue to chase four kills. Markoon stays alive long enough to at least get one tick on that Cyclone and Exekick. Flash available to him. We'll need that in just a moment. He's run out of mana. Four members of SK now running through the river and Mad Lions are chasing. That Chasey with the first of the fights in Irrelevant will be the next, buying some time for the rest of his squad. But SK are split. They're behind enemy lines, and it feels like just a matter of time. They're trying to run. Doss splits apart from his mid laner, trying to pull the attention of the Mad Lions members as he runs under the towers. But Certus is still being chased, snapped down to the bot jungle because he's on a sliver of HP. And the whirling death from oh, Karzi. No. He's coming around the corner, ready to stop him. The dragon interrupts it, and Karzi goes unstoppable. And, uh, it feels to me like SK have been caught in the chaos, and it is Mad Lions tearing them apart. Every single initiation for the last 10 minutes has gone felt like whoever's on blue side, where has been able to pick up that lead, has been able to run away with the game. Fnatic just showed us Fnatic pause hack, now it's Fnatic push hack, they found Chasey! They have, Chasey's already down, but the re-engage is simply too much. El Yoya now trying to get the damage onto Doss as Markoon and Exekick stepping backwards. The mine throws him up in the air, Exekick is pulled back for Kazi to use those spinning axes. Niski holding off two members of SK, the and there's not the enough way. damage, there's not enough support. Certus will arrive a little bit late oh. in the fight, and Exekick is taken out by Kazi. Now SK are running. It's three on three in the river. Certus, while healthy, simply doesn't have the front line. Four on three now as Relevant shows up. He has the call of the Forge God. If that Mad ult from Niski, actually problematic, allowed a player from SK to survive, I do think, but they're straight to the Baron. That's already down to half. Four, five members of SK grouped up. No flash available for SK. SK have Doss. no ults. There are juicy targets indeed. Marku, no Cyclone available to him. The engage from Irrelevant may cost his life. Out. Call of the Forge God simply doesn't do enough. One, two, three members down for SK. It's Kazi tearing through SK 
Gaming, and this should be the Baron secured. Niski says drinks are me tonight, lads. <laughs> Brilliant cask into the back line. This shuts down Exekick, and he wants more. Oh. Look at that damage. Chasey firing from SK's side of the rift. The ace, the Baron, the gigantic lead. And Mad Lions looking to close this one out. That is okay, they're running towards topside. They're pinging a ward in Mad Lions' blue buff jungle. If they could... could extend this, maybe there's an option, but that word's so far away, and Mad Lions are just too damn strong. There's another minion wave, Conga lining its way forward, Irrelevant takes a couple of those spinning axes, and here comes Hilly, got the ult available as well, Irrelevant gets the knockup to buy some time, at least there's one back for Exekick, but that's Irrelevant dropping down, Kazi's low, Kazi's caught, Kazi stopwatches up, but the rest of SK are taken out by the pride, and once again, Mad Lions ace SK. And Mad Lions will take game two off the back of a fantastic performance from Karzy, bringing out the Draven one more time and showing that it should be feared. Mad Lions looking to go 2-1 up in the series. Do they continue the pressure with the Baron of Powered Minions? It looks to be the case. It has been 544 days since Mad Lions have won a best of five here in Europe. It was the summer finals that they picked up the title for. And they're looking to put themselves in a position to take down uh, That's SK. Baron Recalls. Wait, but Niski isn't hitting the B button. Oh, no. All right, well, will Niski be taken out? Where's the rest of the damage here? It's irrelevant by some time. Call of the Forge God will hold Niski in place for now. Surtis continuing the chase. Tidal Wave from <laughs> as well. And Niski may be able to just waddle to safety. And uh, SK can do nothing. Flex on them. Flex oh, on them, no, Niski. no, 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 no. Irrelevant still chasing. He gives him the Teemo thumbs up. The sad beat. The rest of SK are on the way. But what are they going to do? Finally manage to kill him? No, oh, not oh, today. He stays alive while that's going on. The rest of Mad Lions <laughs> push the bottom lane. They look to secure their eighth for his life. And look at this bottom lane. Still pressure from Mad with those Baron Empowered minions. Look, sushi and a drink sounds like a great time to me. Hillisang says, let's party. Manages to find yet another hook. The Cyclone holds a couple of members in place, but there's not enough damage. There's not enough follow-up. And it's Elioya followed by Kazi to pick up more kills. The Nexus is that it already lost himself. One of those turrets and Mad Lions are dominating SK. Don't worry, though. Doss is still fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not sushi. It's <laughs> the menu instead. Because it's Sarah's as it goes down. They're going to push on through. And there it is. Mad Lions destroying SK. And a one win away from advancing to the third place match. The semi-finals. Uh, that was brutal. That was a game that Alyoya helped the Kazi uh, and bottom lane as well as Hilly to just completely take over. And SK looked lost. No. SK looked incapable of standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. There's just nothing you can...